Hello studio world, this is Marcus Marshall. Um, I want to do a video to show you how to set up the Apogee Ensemble Thunderbolt um, for multiple monitors. Um, as you guys are aware, the Ensemble now features a full monitoring control section and I'm going to show you how to actually set this up. I'm recording this voiceover through the Ensemble through channel 1 with its built-in mic pre. The microphone I'm using is a Manly Cardioid reference microphone. Let's first start by launching Maestro. Second, let's go to the output tab in Maestro. There's a drop down menu below the knob with the speaker logo. Set this button to your desired setting. In my case, I would choose the option for two speaker sets. In the device setup tab, choose one of the assignable buttons so you can target your speakers. I chose button C for mine. Under button C's drop down, pick engage speaker set and pick your desired speaker set. I will choose toggle speaker set one through two because I'm gonna be using two sets of speakers. For button D, I assign to dim the speakers, but you can choose one of the other settings of your choice. In the output routing tab, now we must configure what we plan to listen to. Since DAWs default its main outputs to output one and two, I wanna keep this simple and set all my speaker hardware outputs to listen to software output one and two. In some people's cases, this will be fine and all set up, and you're now complete. But I want to take it a step further for some advanced routing. I'm going to assign my hardware outputs 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 to one of Maestro's four low latency mixers. I'm going to choose mixer 1, or also labeled as software output 35 through 36. Click on the mixer tab in Maestro. By default, mixer 1 is shown. If you need to set up more mixers, you do so by clicking one or more of the mixer buttons located on the left of channel one on mixer one. For me, I'm only going to set up one mixer. If you scroll all the way to the left, you will see software return and mixer master as the last two channels. If you set up your output routing correct, the software return should be assigned to out 1 and 2, and the mixer master is hard assigned to monitor 1 slash 2. At this point, your DAW should play out as expected with all your monitoring controls at your fingertips. Now I want to set up the connections labeled G1 and G2 that are on the front panel of the Ensemble Thunderbolt. I'm going to use these to hook up an iPhone, iPad, or similar device using an 8th inch stereo TRS to quarter inch mono splitter Y cable. This will allow me to quickly listen to something from a device quickly and listen to the device without the computer even being turned on. You can choose any of the hardware inputs for this. I chose G1 and G2, also known as Guitar 1 and Guitar 2, for its convenience on the front panel, the fact that it has a DI built in, and the fact that I get a clean signal and I can boost the gain from the front panel of the ensemble if needed. It comes in handy for those low volume MP3s that will be played sometimes by clients. It's not for critical listening, so I don't care that it's going through the uh, guitar inputs. Let's start off by going back to the input tab in Maestro. Look for the Guitar 1 and Guitar 2 channels. Under Group, assign both of these inputs to Group 1. This will allow you to change the gain on the front panel at the same time. Now let's jump back to the Mixer tab. Find channels labeled A, Guitar 1, and A, Guitar 2. Holding down the Option key on your keyboard, click both faders with your mouse pointer to bring the faders to zero or unity gain. Above the faders are pan knobs. Pan Guitar 1 hard left and Guitar 2 hard right to recreate the proper stereo orientation of the mix. Now you are ready and you can plug up your cable and listen to some tunes. Also, if you turn off your computer, you can plug that same cable up and you still get sound and all your monitoring controls from your ensemble. Thanks for watching my video on the Apogee Ensemble Thunderbolt. My name is Marcus Marshall and you can reach me by sending me a message through YouTube. You can catch me at Twitter at MEC Audio and on GearSluts at MEC Audio or you can reach out on my website at www.mecproductions.com. If you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and leave a comment.